Juicy Beers and random Doctor Who fans. And today we're going to review this, which is the 13th Doctor character option screwdriver. And the 720 13th Doctor Sonic screwdriver as well. Thanks for the wonderful gift, Anthony. I love you really. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so starting off with the character option Sonic screwdriver. It comes in that plastic cylinder, much like we've seen with the last couple of releases of mm -hmm. Sonic screwdrivers, although this one is considerably shorter. Uh, we've got the Doctor Who logo at the top. It includes electronic lights and signs. It's got the new diagnostic sound effect, which is good. My one sort of thing that makes me go, what about this box, is the fact that it doesn't actually show off the screwdriver. No, it's like compacting like it. It's, it's, like it's, it's it. cutting off the, the emitter section, that's cutting off a little bit at the bottom as well, which I think is weird. But yeah, no, on the back we've got some rough battery information, but as it says, see inside sleeve for further instructions. But on the other side of that coin, we've got the 720 version, which is cardboard, mm -hmm. and it's very sort of thin, brittle sort of cardboard as yeah. well. You can see it's, it doesn't really offer a lot of protection to the screwdriver because... I like that they put more effort into this package. Yeah, I think visually it looks really good because you've got like the police box doors on the sides mm -hmm. and it just looks very, very nice. The one downside to it is the fact that it doesn't have any protection. Yeah, the cover, like yeah. there's no plastic window on the front so it, it leaves the screwdriver exposed to the elements. I do like that nice little hexagonal thing they've got Ooh, going on at the top that's there. Pretty cool. So you can see the screwdriver, you know, from the, top the, the emitter downward. Uh, and on the back, I think it's just a lot of legal guff. So that does it for the package. Let's move on and talk about the screwdrivers themselves. Okay, so here we now have the Sonic screwdrivers out of their packaging. And I think before we, we talk about the detail and stuff, we just sort of have to talk about the, the overall visual appearance of the new Sonic screwdriver. Because you can't really talk about a toy or something without talking about the thing itself, yeah. if that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. I... I've held off making this review for a little while because I always do that thing where, you know, the, the new screwdriver's announced and I go, I hate that. And then I make the review and then a couple of weeks later I'm like, nah, actually, it's, it's not that it's bad. On you, when this was first announced and, and first released, I, I didn't like it. And seeing it in person and getting a couple of days to sort of, you know, break it in almost, I think this is the worst Design Sonic just, screwdriver to just date. Too complicated. There's I way don't too much going on. See, a lot of people say dildo. I am gonna throw a curveball and say turd. Oh yeah. It it looks like fecal matter, especially Wrapped this. In tin foil. Especially this bit at the end. Yeah. Like, I mean, that, that is something you pick up after you take the dog out for a walk. <laughs> oh, God. The visual aesthetic of it is goddamn awful. It's just too complicated. It's just way too much. I mean, like even the texture of it. It, it actually disgusts me. Do you know what? In all fairness, it makes it nice to hold. Yeah. But it's, it's just the design I can't get past. But, of course, we're here to discuss the toy version. So we'll, we'll start off with the character options one first. This is the UK release. I think it's appalling. It's way too big. Like, we've got the emitter at the top, and that looks all right. And mm. you've got that kind of little sort of cross design of what looks like sort of like metal struts like holding the kind of holding it in place yeah but then you get to the handle and it just looks it, it looks fairly messy and they've used this uh, sort of translucent plastic here but you can clearly see through it mm -hmm. uh the actual body of it just it looks like it could have done with like a dark wash or something over it when you're saying that there the one thing i i do not like when it comes to toys and stuff like that is seeing the electronics inside of it. It's got two very nasty looking screw holes at the top, and I think that's a real back step for character. And even on the end piece here, we've got a little bit of legal Schadenfreude here. That's a huge back step because I was so impressed with their 12th Doctor yeah. version because that had no problems at all. No screw holes, no legal guff. So moving on here, we have the 720 version, which is considerably smaller if you put the two of them together. Oh, definitely. See, this one is way smaller. And I actually prefer the design of this, even yeah. though it isn't accurate. This one looks like it's made out of wood. If you look at the, the back section there particularly, yeah, the like that, that, the that's a knot. Yeah. And then you've got the little rings of the tree around it. I actually like the, the sort of wooden design of this one. And it seems this one has more effort in it, like the set down and on the, like the all the little bits, even paint. I see that's what I like yeah. about uh, props and, and toys and that there, when they make the effort to actually weather it down. Yeah, see this one has weathering to it, because mm -hmm. you can see the sort of dark wash that that one badly needs. Definitely. The crystal on this one isn't as impressive as the character, I would say. 
I actually prefer that. You like this one, yeah? See, I, see, there's the thing, the same problem. You can see the inside of it where I don't like that. I yeah, whereas this is frosted. frosted. That's, yeah. that's perfect. The one downside to this one is that it has a world of screw holes. A world of them. Yeah, Look at that's that. that's a lot. Because, again, we get the two at the top. We get one just in the midsection there, another one there, another one in the midsection of the turd, uh, and one right at the, at the at the end of the turd. I do prefer the design overall of the, the 720 compared to the character one. The character one looks cheap. Too big It and looks funky. tacky, it looks plasticky. Whereas with the 720, you Slimline. get that nice kind of... It's like a thin line. Yeah, you get that kind of nice little sort of wood paneling finish. It's, it's good and small, it, it fits into your hand really nicely too. So moving on to features, both Sonics have light and sound effects. So Anthony, give us a, give us a blast of the character options version. Right, so that's that one, and then there's like another yeah. feature as well. So if you double tap. Double. So that's the new diagnostic sound effect. Which kind of reminds me of the noise that the Jadoon scanner plays. One thing I do appreciate about the character options version is that it's not just the same sonic sound effect again. There's a little click at the start. It's very subtle, but there's a little sort of click at the start. And there's also an extra little noise whenever you take your, your finger away from the screwdriver. Do you hear that? Yeah. So it's... It's like a slack and stuff on and off. Yeah, yeah, it's like a little power-up noise. And also another thing that, that is kind of good about it is the fact that when you turn it on and you're sonicking and you let go, the light just doesn't immediately turn off. It just fades. It, it fades out. So that is one of the little features that I do like about it is the fact that when, when you move the sonic around, like the body of it will glow. See, like that. Yeah. Uh, which on paper sounds like a good idea, but think about it, if that, that's in a kid's pocket and he or she's running around with it, yeah, that'll, that'll, drain that'll activate, battery. it'll drain the battery like crazy. There is a, a button on the top of the screwdriver. That's just a dummy button. That's just so annoying. With the character options one, it has the, the multiple sound effects. So you turn it on, it's got the regular sonic noise. Tap twice, diagnostic. Tap three times, it's that, that annoying sound effect. That, that one effect. that we first heard on the 11th Doctor Screwdriver, where the Sonic isn't really working properly. Wouldn't a better idea have been to have that be the regular Sonic noise and this be the diagnostic noise? Yeah. Because it makes more sense, because why would you just have a button that's just there to do nothing? To see, annoy see, people? <laughs> that's, that's laziness. But whereas with the 720 version, you press the button on the top, regular Lock Sonic sound effect. And I think that looks Very gorgeous. Nice. I mean, comparing the two. Is this one orange and that one's yellow? I think this one lights up far brighter. Big time. Big I time. think it looks way better whenever it's lit up. Yeah. And not only that, but the actual body of the Sonic lights up, you know, far more aesthetically pleasing. And it glows as well. Yeah, that is really nice. Now, the emitter tip itself doesn't really light up too well. No but it still sort of glows and has that really nice effect to it. Like obviously it doesn't have the thing that the character options one does where it has that click before it turns on. No. And you can't double tap no, it or anything like that. Whereas the button on the bottom actually works. And this is what I really like about this because it, this is the diagnostic uh, settings. So you press it. Oh, Look at that. That is cool. And it actually rotates. Which is really nice. This first Sonic, it actually does some sort of movement. Yeah, it that actually is, moves independently, cool. which is really cool. Be interesting to see what that's actually going to happen in the show. What's the meaning behind it? Yeah. Well, obviously, that is to stimulate the labia. Ah. So. And of course, an extra feature that the 720 offers is the fact that the base can rotate. Now, I can't go the full way around. It seems to be, it seems to get stuck. But you know what? Fair yeah. enough. Better than nothing, right? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Story of our lives. <laughs> so doing a size comparison, the Sonic screwdriver is starting to get smaller again, which is really nice mm -hmm. because with uh, the revival of Doctor Who, we had the ninth and 10th Sonic. Uh, and this is obviously, that's wildly out of scale with how the prop is. Yeah. This is way bigger. Then we got the 11th Doctor Sonic, which was a beast. Yes. This is the Sonic in beast mode, especially whenever it's, it's flicked open like that. And then we got the 12th Doctor's one, which is just massive. The character options version, which is still pretty damn big, but not as big as the 12th Doctor's yeah. screwdriver. In fact, I'd say it's more 
it, this, oh. it's, it's the same sort of size, roughly, as yeah. the 9th and 10th one, whenever it's extended. Uh, as for the 720, uh, well, it's well, yeah. considerably smaller than the Character Options version. Uh, it's just slightly bigger. It's about an emitter's worth bigger than the original 9th and 10th Dr. Sonic toy. Uh, and has way more features, somehow. <laughs> So, Anthony, overall, what do you think? Which one's the best? The character options, 13th Dr. Sonic, or the 720? 720 miles by far, miles apart, because the character options one is just horrible. I don't like it. In, in what way? It's way too big. Uh, there's another thing, as I say, I don't like the fact that you can see the internal parts of it. That annoys me when it comes to yeah, things Yeah, very like much so, yeah. Also, the top of the emitter as well, you can see the LED light as well. Mm -hmm. And the other thing that annoys me too is the button. Yeah, the, the button annoying, doesn't like, is, work. Is, what is the point of this? I mean, character have made some weird decisions in the past with some of their toys. Yeah. This is yet another in a long line of, <laughs> what the hell are you doing? I will give them one point, which is that they have less screw holes on this than this one does. Yeah. That's the only thing that really sort of holds me back with the 720, is that it just looks a mess on one side. Yeah. Where you have like all these little screw holes all pepper potted throughout it, it doesn't look really but the great. The weathering and the detail that they put into this one, like they've tucked their yeah. time with this one. I can't tell what's worse though, because with this one, obviously it's a lost cause. Yeah. So it doesn't really matter if it has screw holes on it at this point or it has legal guff on it or, or what have you. But with this one, it feels like they tried so hard and that's just so disappointing. I love. The, the the lights and signs on 720. Yeah. I think that's that's something that gives it a little bit of character and sort of redeems it from the fact it looks like a dildo turd. I I love the I love that. Yeah, that's that's a, that's a good feature. Isn't it? That's like a that. really nice feature, and it shows that a lot of work has been put into it. To the fact that whenever it's in diagnostic mode, it makes the sound effect, but also this rotates. The regular Sonic mode is pretty awesome as well because these like these are very bright, like, which I'm happy with. Look at the difference between the two because this one it's lovely and bright, whereas if you compare it to the character options version, I mean there's That's there's no just... comparing the two. That is terrible, and I mean it's so clear whenever you have this one switched on that you can see the LEDs it annoys inside it. 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 it annoys me. See that. But I, I, I like the fact that they've, they've done the, the thing, with the frost at the top of it, the frost in the panels, and that wins it for me. Yeah. And the weather, and the detail they put into this one. Like they put a lot of effort into this one. Joe, imagine that, right? Because uh, I know it, like we're, we're given the design of this grief, and rightfully so, it is awful. Uh, but imagine that, that exact design there, where this looks like wood, and this is wrapped in leather. And it's completely smooth. It looks like a proper tool. It looks like a, a tool from space, whereas this just looks so obvious and so disgusting. Don't get me wrong, because everyone on the planet now seems to think I'm some sort of Doctor Who hater. We're, we're like, oh, just stop reviewing it. If you don't like it, don't review it. And uh, see, the trouble is I've kind of got like Doctor Who Stockholm Syndrome. Mm -hmm. where I'll still watch the series and I'm still going, please be good this year. Please, please be good. And I, I, I want to collect the toys. I still want to make reviews on them. But it's just everything is a disappointment now. Yeah. And this is the, the pinnacle of it because it, it looks like crap. Whenever I was a teenager, mm. I would carry this around with me all the time. Neither because too. I love Doctor Who. I wanted to be the Doctor. I loved the design of it, and it, it represented the show for me. Mm -hmm. And then like, you would have people sort of walking past you on the street, or like when you're waiting at the bus station or anything like that, and you had it out, and you were just sort of like twirling it around your hands and, and everything. And, and they stuff. would just go like, oh, what's that? Yeah. I don't want to do that with either of these. No. Because people take a look at that and go, all right, mate, we get it. You went down summers. Put it back in your bag. Take it home. Use it there. Yeah. So the winner is, of course... The 720. <laughs> Yay! Thanks for watching.